Oh, yeah. 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 And I'm going to introduce you to a few of our leaders sure, here. Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, this is Ken Lin, the well, founder, Ken, the founder nice of Credit you. Karma. Thank you, you, other than virtual. Uh, yeah, likewise, likely. <laughs> Welcome. Glad to meet you in person. Thank and nice. um, this is Susanna Wright, our oh, chief legal officer. Hi, Very nice to see you. Great. And Thank Joe you. Kaufman, our president. Oh. Hi, Joe. Governor Cooper. Very nice to meet you. Governor Colleen McCreary, our chief um, people hi. places hi. and publicity oh. officer. This has largely been her project here. We have some leaders from Charlotte, if you'd like to just introduce Great. yourselves uh, yeah. quickly. Hi. Michael Scully, head of Hi. Core Product. Nice Michael. to meet you. Nice to see you. Andy okay. Jenkins, VP of Engineering. Andy, nice, nice to see you too. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ashley Anderson, I lead recruiting. Excellent. Very <laughs> nice to see you too. Hi, Brian McDowell, uh, Senior Hi. Director of Growth Marketing. Hi. 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 Jason McNutt, I will lead the Business Development Team for Credit Cards. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hi. Hi. Frank Vitale, lead Financial Planning. Frank, nice, nice to meet you. you. Hey, Ray. Ray. Hey, Ray. Uh, Member of success. Fantastic. Thank you. 
Great. So we thought we'd start with just a very quick tour. We know you just have I a few like minutes. I like it already. First impressions, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ken Are these the people who really matter? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Hoodie culture in full, in uh, full, full effect here. Yeah, absolutely. It's so green and beautiful out here.
Come out of the mother <laughs> so excited 450 people today so we've added you know almost 400 people since that announcement we're really excited to be here and um, the city of Charlotte has been nothing but welcoming and we're, we're so excited to continue growing here so thank you so much thank you. Uh, maybe I should start by saying you know as a company of 1500 uh, tech workers I think we exhausted our closets by finding every jacket that we had <laughs> to be here behind you today. I didn't see any ties. <laughs> we, we have zero ties. ties. We don't have any ties. We only have yeah. about 10 jackets and zero ties. So, uh, but kidding aside, you know, we are so excited to be here, and thank you so much. You know, hopefully this, you know, we're really proud of this office. I think it represents the beauty of Charlotte, the diversity of Charlotte, and we're just so excited about, you know, growing here. I went for a quick run this morning, and I swear that at least three or four people waved and said hello in, a, in, in such a way that just is so welcoming, and we care so much about the community and working with the workforce that has a mission that is focused on building and making lives better, and we couldn't be more proud to be here, so thank you so much. Well, thank you, Ken, and thank you to all of the employees who work in the Karma. Glad to have you here, and you couldn't have picked a better place on the East Coast to locate your headquarters. We're so excited to have you here. As I told you when you started up, we had to do it all virtually at the time, but that this was the place for FinTech. This, this is the place for this kind of company with a great idea to grow. Uh, I know that anybody who's ever tried to get credit cards or borrow money gets so frustrated with credit reporting, and you had a good idea here. And obviously, it's continuing to grow, so that's exciting. And know that you've come to a state that values our diversity. We know that diversity makes us stronger, 
and better. We also know that we want to be a hub for technology. We believe that you will find a well-trained, educated, diverse workforce here. We have one of the greatest arrays of public and private universities in the country. We have the best community college system in the country. We have more four-year HBCUs than any other state in the country. North Carolina A&T State University graduates more black engineers than any other university in the country. And I think you have already noticed that we have four seasons. <laughs> <laughs> that we have a great place. In North Carolina, if you don't like the weather, wait until tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, we, we've got everything that, that you need to grow and prosper. I'm so glad you're getting close to that 600 mark out of jobs. Very uh, close. Yeah. <laughs> and average wages, more than 150K, that's just fantastic. And the fact that you may even do even more is truly exciting. And the Charlotte area and North Carolina is on fire right now yeah. for companies coming to, to establish and expand their businesses with great paying jobs. Uh, I think what keeps me up at night is making sure we supply a well-educated, yes. trained workforce uh, for these new jobs. And just know you have my administration's commitment to help you do that, and we look forward to working with the city of Charlotte and, and all of you guys uh, <laughs> to, to make sure you have a good quality of life and a great family life and a wonderful place to raise a family if you want to do that and to work and play. You just can't find a better place. So, Ken, thanks, and I'm, I'm glad to be here with you to celebrate the opening of this fantastic space. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We need, to, we need to upgrade in state government. <laughs> so we didn't want to have a normal ribbon, so we got the state flower, the state flower, the beautiful state of North Carolina. Um, we, we'd be honored if you that. <laughs> Let's do it together. All right, come on. All right, wait a minute. All right, like this. Here we go. Oh. All right. Back to where we were. First, it's people. It's, it's the quality of life. Uh, it, it is a place where you can work, play, raise your family, make a good living, and that's exciting. And I think that companies, not just across the country, but across the world, are seeing this place for what it is. I mean, this is definitely an urban area, but a hometown feel. And that's the kind of people that we have here. You heard Ken just mention it, going out on the run and people saying hello to him. This is a big city, bustling city, a lot of things happening. Uh, but the people here are good people. And it's just really exciting to see companies like this grow right here in North Carolina. And what is it like after the pandemic? We're emerging from that. People are returning to the office. What do you think opening a facility like this in the state of North Carolina sends? Um, what kind of message does that send to other companies, you know, if they're thinking about coming here? So I think a lot of companies have learned lessons and learned efficiencies during the pandemic, and this is a company like that. They still know they need a space where people can come and meet and collaborate, but they've also learned that you can work some from home too. And I think depending on the company, you, you find the right way to do things. And I think during this pandemic, we, we have all learned lessons. We've been flung ahead about a decade in technology. Uh, we know that we 
didn't need as many in-person meetings as we thought we needed, but we still need to have them. And so having a space like this, I think, would encourage a lot of employees to come and want to work and collaborate. How important is the technology industry in North Carolina now, and how are you growing that? So we knew when we attracted Lowe's here to move their tech hub here that we really had the, the, the movement toward making a, a tech hub cluster. It's so important to have that workforce ecosystem. But you know that it, it just doesn't happen. You have to have the kind of place where people in tech would want to come and, and, and want to be. Uh, we need public transportation. Uh, we need good schools and community colleges and universities, restaurants and bars and entertainment, sports. Uh, this area has it all. And, and so I think that you're seeing companies like this come and grow, and it's an exciting time for us. we got time for one or two more if there's one. Uh, Ken, I have a question for you, if you don't mind. Um, what has it been like for you? You're trying to hire hundreds of employees here in Charlotte and, and bring them into an office space here while other companies are trying to maybe work from home. Um, what has that process been like for you trying to establish this company here in North Carolina? Well, I think it's easy when you're in a, in a place that people love to be in, and that's what we've seen time and time again. And to the governor's point, you know, and when you have a well-educated, diverse workforce, it makes companies want to be here. We've been so excited to be able to support the community and also just grow, and we're excited about investing in the future here. Last one. Mm -hmm. Governor Cooper, uh, mm -hmm. the next one. The, yes. um, speaking of bringing companies here, any interest in bringing the Panthers headquarters back? And <laughs> has, that, has that process started, and is it possible? Now, we look forward to working with the Panthers. We want the Panthers to succeed here. It's You know, you've seen... Charlotte and the South Carolina area take a regional approach to economic development and know that we can grow together. So I hope things work out. Thanks, guys. It's all time we've got. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Ken Lin, L-I-N. Spell it. L-I-N, last name. Ken Lin. Okay. you guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. trying to give you a spot back. Nah, you're good. It's fine. It actually works. I didn't have to hold my arm out. Oh, it's fine. How's it going at WSOC? I used to work there. Are you all three together? Oh, they're SOC. We're at CNC. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? I used to be at him.